that I picked up were only $3 because they're scratch and dent. But the thing is, none of them are actually damaged, like, at all. Like, there's the worst that I got was a little tiny nick in the spine. And, like, your girl can live with that for a book for $3, okay? I'm okay with that. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here because I spent all the money that I do not have today because I went to book outlet. <laughs> so exciting. I spent way too much money that I shouldn't have, but, you know, I actually found a bunch of books that I've wanted for a while, so I'm taking it as a win. So without further ado, let us get started. I'm not going to give any synopsis for any of the books because I believe there are like nine or ten of them. I forget the number. So I'm just going to tell you why I purchased them. They're pretty popular books for once. I know, Jan has popular books on this channel. It's weird. So you guys probably know what they're about anyways. So. Let us get started. The first two books are actually why I was going to Book Outlet in the first place. They were having this like sale where it was like buy one get one free. We're coloring books and you know your girl love her coloring. So the first one that I got was Color Odyssey. Probably saying Odyssey wrong. I don't care. By Chris Garver and this one was the free one. The other one was the one that I actually really really wanted. Kind of just like flowers. I don't know if you guys can see this if it's actually going to work or not but there's like birdies there's an owl it's like that kind of thing it's more like octopus it's just like naturey stuff which is the stuff that i like to color the most so i now have this in my possession i'm actually really excited for one of the designs in this book because like it's so cool like look at that snake look at that snake i just i'm so excited the next coloring book that i got was tropical world by millie marota I didn't remember the name, but that's okay. This one I'm actually so excited about. It's so pretty. They like basically take the like flowers and like leaf patterns and they make them into animals. Like, is that not so cool? I just, oh, I think it's so pretty and I just, I'm so excited to color this. Like the only thing that bugs me about this book is that it like tells you how to color it. And I'm like, girl, do not tell me how to do my coloring activities. Like this was like complete the plumage and jungle home of this horned owl with your own intricate patterns. Like, no, what if I don't want to do that? Don't tell me to do things that I don't want to do, Millie. Okay, so now on to the actual physical books that you can actually read. The first book is Anne and Henry, and this is by Don Eos. I think I'm saying that right. Probably not. But I saw this book a while ago when it first came out, and I don't know what it is. I think it's, like, the color scheme or just, like, the front cover, the girl's, like, biting the boy's face. And I do that to the guy I like a lot, so I don't know if it's, like... A reminder of that or something I don't know but I just really like the cover so I've wanted it for a while and now it's in my possession so I'm happy about it the next is reality boy by A.S. King I saw this book on Raveen's channel like a long long time ago and I recently read an A.S. King book and I liked it it was Please Ignore Vera Dites and it was a decent book so I figured why not try out some more of her writing I've heard this one's really good so I saw it for three dollars and I was like yes you are now mine. The next book I'm kind of pissed off about. Okay, because it was on the scratch and dent shelf, but then when I got home, I was like peeling off the stickers so I could show you guys all the books, and it said $7.99, so I think what happened was that I was going through all of the scratch and dent ones, and then I found the one that's the best condition, and it wasn't actually scratch and dent, but it was in that shelf, so I ended up picking that one, because obviously if it's not scratch and dent, it's going to be in the best condition. So I think I purchased a full book, but that's okay. Well, I've wanted to read it for a while, so I'm just going to let it slide. And the book is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adahi. And I love this cover. I think it's so pretty. I've heard so much about it and a lot of people seem to like it. So I figured I would give it a try. And also, I really like the inside flap. Like, the, the girl's so pretty. I just want to look like her. And it has cool pages, like deckled edges, I think they're called. I like that in a book, so... The next book is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, and this is the second book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. I think it's a trilogy? I, your girl doesn't know anything about books, really. I'm a poser, guys. Whatever. But I haven't read The Fifth Wave yet, but again, it was only $3, so I figured, why not pick it up? I'm sure I will probably enjoy The Fifth Wave, so might as well just have it on my shelf in my collection. Next book I've actually had on audiobook for a really long time so I figured if I buy the actual physical copy I might actually read it because I like physical copies better but we'll see if that actually works out or not and it is Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith and I also saw this book on Raveen's channel and she liked it so I usually like the same books that she does. Also I just really like the pages are yellow. 
I know, I'm superficial. The next book is the same story. I've had it on audiobook for a very long time. Everybody says it's amazing. So I found it for $3. So I got to pick it up. And it is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. And I also just really like this cover. So I think it's pretty. Okay, next book I am actually so excited about. I read the first book in the series in September and I absolutely loved it. And it is Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. This is the sequel to Burned, which I just said I read. And I just, oh, I'm so excited. I need to know what happened to Peyton. I need to know everything. The cliffhanger in Burned is so ridiculous and I saw this and I freaked. I freaked out. So you know your girl needs some more Ellen Hopkins in her life. So now your girl has Ellen Hopkins in her life and I'm way too excited about it. The next book is Zodiac by Romina Russell. And I don't actually know anything about this book, but I've been seeing it a lot recently on Twitter, and I really like the cover, and I think it's pretty, so I saw it, and I was like, yes, I want you. So, now I have it, and if I hate it, it's at least pretty. That's the theme of this video this week. If it's pretty, I bought it, and I might hate it, but it's fine. The next book actually my mom bought, but I'm going to steal it from her because it's my baby. And it is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. It's about Magnus Bane. If you've been on my channel for the past couple of months, you know that I'm reading the Mortal Instruments series and the Infernal Devices series, and you know that Magnus Bane is my baby, so the fact that this entire book is all about my baby makes my little heart very, very happy. So I'm very excited to get to this when I finally am able to, because it's a pretty big one. But, you know, it'll probably happen in the summer. We'll see. Hopefully. Alright guys, so those were all the books that I bought from Book Outlet this time around. I spent a total, let me tell you, I spent a total of $31.48, which is not a lot. Before your girl, it's a lot because I don't like spending my money. But I got like 10, 11 books, I can't count for that much money. I think it's a win. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! I got these books. I couldn't find them yesterday, and I was like, oh wow, I must have left them there. But no, then, remember we had two bags, so I had my Yeah, I forgot there. though, but I was, like, I was like, I swear I bought this book, I swear I did. And you know what happened? I bought a book for $7.99 by accident, because I thought it was a Scratch and Den, because it was on the Scratch and Den shelf. So the Zodiac one. No, this one. Oh. So I was looking through them all, being like, oh, which one's the best condition? Obviously the one that's not an actual Scratch and Den is the best condition. So somebody went and found another Scratch and Den to put that one back yeah. in the hand. So I grabbed that one, and I was like, but $7.99 isn't a lot of money for a book. I know, but it's like, I could have had a $3 one. Not if you didn't see it. Oh, there were other ones that were there? There was a bunch of $3 ones that I was going it's through. It's only $5. Your girl cheap, mama. Your girl cheap. Yeah, but your girl doesn't need to be cheap all the time. Your girl does need to be cheap. She's As a starving student. Literally starving. Yeah, but that's your fault. Because I don't want to You're not a starving student. You're a lazy student. It's three minutes away. Really? <laughs>